Hello, it's Edmund here, Mike Zero, Mike November Golf at 20 to 9 local time on Friday the 6th of Friday the 8th of January even 2016. Happy New Year. And I'm sitting in my car with two handhelds, both of them Wushan KG UV60s, both of them tuned to 145 800 uh, narrow band FM but with wide deviation both of them with the squelch completely off both of them tuned to 145800 this one has it's a bit less than a quarter wave I think although well, there's a bit of loading in there no doubt that's a Nagoya NA771 antenna on top of it the other radio is connected to my mobile antenna or one of them and that is the what is it diamond nr770rsp if you have a long memory this was the same car park i was in a couple of years ago trying to receive the international space station on the baofeng uv3r we've got a not raining fortunately but rather cloudy well light cloud type day and in seven or so minutes the international space station will come over somewhere up there with british astronaut tim peake on board and he will be having a contact with a school in hertfordshire the sandringham school uh, we're too far away down here on the west sussex coast to hear the uplink from St Albans but because the International Space Station is quite a long way up there um, it puts out a very strong signal so we should hear it no problem and I'll have two radios this time that one with its uh, fixed antenna on top of my car and this one that I can wave around outside um, something I have noticed in previous uh, passes incidentally is that whatever the published time is 8.47 in this case it's supposed to become visible or audible I never seem to hear anything until a couple of minutes after that so every time I've listened for the International Space Station in the past I've thought to myself oh dear it's not going to work um, I need to give up and go in and invariably it always does and it's always a mega strong signal when it appears Let's jump forward a few minutes in time for the rest of this video uh, when hopefully we'll be hearing the ISS. Good morning, Hugo. Uh, we'd like to think that the Isaac Newton would be honoured that the Princess of the Age is bringing us at the greatest British scientist. So we see the data foundation of everything that our knowledge has been built upon. So uh, I was delighted that Princess of the Age was chosen by the That was the first transmission. I heard it via the roof antenna, nothing heard so far on this one. Good morning Hugo, it's a great question. I would like to think that Sir Isaac Newton would be honoured that the mission has been named after him. I think that never lived and uh, you know a lot of our foundation of, of knowledge and physics is based on his early understanding so uh, I've, I've been delighted the mission is named after him. Okay, well again, really strong on that antenna, barely anything at all heard on this one. Golf Bravo 1 Sierra Alpha November, this is Golf Bravo 1 Sierra Sierra, I read you loud and clear, over. And now that it's getting stronger on the one on the roof, it's also got a lot stronger on the handheld. Sierra Alpha November, Golf Bravo 1, Sierra Sierra, recommend to back up channel Charlie 6, over Charlie 6, how copy, over. Hi Hugo, I think, uh, I'd like to think that Sir Isaac Newton would be honoured that uh, Principia was chosen as a mission name in honour of his life's work and, uh, you know, his understanding of physics and the universe, which all of our knowledge has been built upon. Okay, it looks like they might have had a slight problem, but it's equally strong now 
now that the ISS is more overhead on the antenna on the car as it is on this uh, handheld. Hi Imogen, that's a great question and yes you're absolutely right, the, the liquid, um, the intermolecular forces in a liquid, the cohesion is stronger than the adhesion to the air and so it would form a sphere, the surface tension would be great enough to make um, a hydrocarbon, a liquid hydrocarbon form a sphere. EML uses uh, an electric co uh, coil, if you like, to heat the metal alloys. And as soon as that is switched off, the metal alloys cool very rapidly. They're only about 8 millimeters in diameter, so they cool rapidly, but we can make them cool even faster by flushing them with gases, such as helium or argon. Hi Jeff, well up here in space we can study things that we can't study back on Earth because we're here in microgravity, so in the absence of gravity all sorts of different things happen and that's really the huge benefit of the space station that we've got to for. Great question, a helium balloon would actually just, uh, it wouldn't rise because the microgravity forces are so small that although helium still has a different specific uh, gravity up here, it would, it would rise, so it would just get blown around by the ventilation fan. 